I've realized in my journey as a minimalist who loves fashion, you can be a minimalist or be somebody that takes a minimalist approach to their life and still love fashion and still be specific with your fashion. And a lot of that is including trends. I think it just means we can take a different approach to our trends. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have joined me here today. So yes, today I'm sharing 10 things that are trendy for this fall season of 2023 that are already in my closet. Some of the things I've had for years and years, some of the things I've just gotten recently, but ultimately there's just things that I've pulled into my closet because I ultimately love the pieces and it just so happens that they are on trend for this fall. So yay. With that, Let's get started. First, we have my Jeffrey Campbell Western style Chelsea boot. I can't even remember the actual like technical name for them. I purchased these probably, I think like three years ago, two or three years ago, secondhand on eBay. These are currently on trend because the Western style is definitely here for this season, as well as that, the squared off toe, kind of like the cut off toe. For me, I bought these because I, well, I love a good Chelsea boot. I wanted like a little bit of a heel and I wanted like an edgier Chelsea boot. And so when I came across these, I thought perfection. Um, these are gonna definitely add edge yet be classic, can be something that I can be styling for years and years. I'd say it wasn't specifically on like the trends list when I bought these boots, I just fell in love with them. You know, as an example here today, wear leggings and a t-shirt and throw these babies on and it looks like an elevated look. So I love having these type of things in my wardrobe. Next are these pants from Sundry. Uh, they are a vertical stripe pant, obviously, and they are red. And if you've been watching my videos, you know, red is very much on trend. It is everywhere. It is everywhere this season. And you know what? I'm excited for it. Even though I'm not a massive color person, if I was gonna wear a color, it would be red because red looks good on me. As well as that, I just think it's a really just beautiful pop of color, a uh, very timeless color. Like even when it's not on a trends list, you just, you can't go wrong. I got these like a year and a half ago. I think it was, no, it would have been, was it a year and a half ago, maybe? No, it would have been like two years ago. I don't know. Got them at the beginning of my pregnancy because I thought, oh, these will be fun. Uh, they kind of like are low riding so I can wear them you know, in the beginning stages of my pregnancy. I never actually ended up wearing them a lot when I was pregnant because it just, they didn't actually end up working the way I thought they were going to, but that's fine. Vertical stripes or sort of like pin stripes are also having a moment as well. So, you know, bonus there. As well as that, these are a tapered fit. Tapered fit is definitely on the trends list. When I'm just feeling like I need that punch of boldness. If I just need that punch of style, it's just a fun thing to style with like basic things. Okay. Next we have, which you all are very familiar with if you've been watching my videos, my Nine West mesh slingback flats. And these are all kinds of trendy. So why I bought these is because I kind of became obsessed with the mesh flats. But along with that, the pointed toe is also on trend. You know, I guess you can't really go wrong because if you go flat or pointed, you're, you're, you're good to go. But the thing I just realized is that the slingback is real hot with the celebrities. It's like this big celebrity trend. I don't know if why that makes a difference, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of fun. I was, yeah, I was like, oh, good look at me on trend. The good thing is, is I feel like if you're on trend, cool, fun, you know, you're on trend. But if you're not on trend, when you love something and you rock it with confidence and excitement, it then just makes you look cool and different. Um, then you're just kind of separated from the herd. So I think there's just not really a bad, a bad angle as long as you love the item. As long as you love that piece, I don't think you can really go wrong. Then we have my cashmere shawl, a kind of scarf that I got from Club Monaco. I don't know, must be going on eight years. Probably had it for eight years now. Just fell in love with the kind of drama of it. You know, I love a little bit of drama when it comes to my sweaters and cardigans and layering pieces. I want this because I'm just going to throw it over some basic looks and bring in that drama and elevate the look. It is something that I think, again, it's like an investment piece. It's very timeless. It's classic. It's so quality. And when I do wear it, I'm just so excited about it and so inspired by it. Uh, this season, big scarves, large scarves and sort of shawl scarves are on trend. That's something that's always going to work. And again, 
cool, you're on trend this season, but it's timeless. Okay, next one is my Vegamon Tara Boot. You guys are very familiar with these because I've had them for a long time. Not long time. I got these four years ago because I've just always loved platform boots or platform, I should say. I love platform. Like I was definitely in 90s, like coming up of age in 90s and loved the, the platform then. So I love it now. I was right on that band camp as soon as the platforms started coming out. And then as well as that, we've got kind of like the square toe as well which again is like having a real moment. But again, Chelsea boot added a little bit of edge with the flat form and it's definitely got like a nice masculine vibe. So I love bringing it in with tighter fitting things or just using it as like a bit of edge or some masculinity. Next we have my Citizens of Humanity Ayla jeans. These I got this just this last winter. I sort of treated myself to them um, postpartum. They were definitely like a forgiving sort of pant in my process of healing. Why are these on trend? Well, big jeans or like oversized jeans, that 90s vibe again, is very much on trend this season. Um, as well as that, uh, like horseshoe fit pants or jeans are definitely here. I love that because I think it's super flattering. I don't know, I've always thought that like the bow leg look is very flattering, so there's that. All right, next we have my Lauren Ralph Lauren blazer that I bought secondhand on eBay. I think I've had this too for about four years now. Yeah, three or four years. One of the best secondhand purchases I've ever made. Um, just amazing quality and it's just classic. I bought this then because I just love blazers and I liked that it had the shoulder pads. I really liked like the pointed shoulders, just kind of that rigid shoulder. I loved the bigger, wider lapel because again, adds a little bit of drama. And I loved the double, double, the double breasted buttons. All things I think are just super classic and it's a bit oversized. So, but it's not so oversized as well. So I, I like that. I wear the sugar out of this blazer. It is probably my favorite blazer. It's actually super on trend for this season because like the pointed shoulders, like the structured sort of shoulders are on trend. The bigger lapel is coming back and the double breasted is for sure here and here with vengeance. As well as that, it's got a little bit of a tailored, nipped in waist, like a tiny little touch, uh, which I kind of like. Normally I'm not a big, you know, fan of like the nipped in waists on anything. I'm more of like, I like, you know, boxy fits, but um, I do like that that has just like a little, just a little, little bit, little touch. So yeah, it is, it's a great one. It's an easy one to belt as well, which is also super in trend to belt blazers. So that's good. Okay, the next one is my All Saints Pippa tee. This is like a boyfriend fit tee. Um, I got an extra boyfriend because it's large. Um, I got the black one at the beginning of when I was pregnant with my twins. So about a year and a half ago. It must have been like a year and a half ago, right? Yeah, year and a half ago. Um, and I just loved the fit of it. I loved the fabric. Um, I love like that it's got this really subtle graphic. You might not be able to see, it's got this little subtle like embroidery graphic on the black one as well. I've always loved boyfriend tees for years and years because I love tight jeans. So I love combining tight jeans with oversized t-shirts. Again, because the 90s are back, uh, like the oversized boyfriend stuff is back. Next one is my mousy studio wear bubble sleeve sweatshirt. I got this gifted to me for my streetwear capsule video that some of you may have seen. I have an obsession with sweatshirts. I don't know what it is. I have no idea, but I have an obsession with sweatshirts. This is on trend because, well, one, again, oversized. I mean, I feel like I'm a broken record. Oversized is on trend for sure. Uh, the bubble sleeves is sort of on trend, but the big one that is everywhere is hoods. So hoods are like having a big moment, um, layering hoods underneath things. So that's kind of fun. And I think that's like a fun, easy, no cost or low cost way of incorporating a trend is, you know, incorporating hoods into your styling, into your outfits, into your layering. I think that's really the big thing is like, using it for layering. It's not really anything new. Like people have been styling hoodies or layering hoodies for years and I don't think it's ever something that really goes out of trend. Last but definitely not least is my mousy denim coat with a chewed hem. This was also gifted to me for my streetwear capsule wardrobe video. Why? The drama. Yep. The drama, the statement, the boldness, the edginess, 
yet timeless. Like, this to me is timeless. I will love this for years and years. We'll be able to style this for years and years. It is on trend because elevated denim is on trend. So elevated denim just meaning not like your normal sort of denim, not like your normal sort of run-of-the-mill jeans or shirt or jacket. I got this in the summertime and had to film it in the summertime. So I haven't really properly gotten to wear it like out into the world and into the public. So I cannot wait for some flipping cold weather. So those are my 10 trendy fall items that are already in my closet. Yeah. So I think the takeaway from today is really that trends are fun, trends are great, but they're not everything. And I think if you take them too literally, you're going to kind of ruin your own personal style and you're going to ruin your wardrobe. If you're always like, okay, what's on trend? Okay, I'll get that new and I'll get rid of everything that's not on that trend list. And I think the biggest thing is just make sure you're buying what you love. Like that is always my underlining sort of point is buy what you love. Because when you do that, it doesn't really matter whether or not something's on trend or not. You will always rock it and rock it well if that is the approach you take. And then again, when it's on trend, cool, bonus, fun. And sometimes it's not even fun to be on trend. I would say sometimes um, you don't wanna be too on trend because then you're just, you know, blending in with the crowd. So as a fun little exercise, go to your closet and see what you have that's on trend. And if you're not on trend, if you have nothing that's on trend, who cares? As long as you love what you're wearing, that's all that matters. All right, my beautiful friends, you know what to do. If you did like today's episode, give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and make sure to click the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. You have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.